Who wants to learn how to transform their shirt from drab to fab? You? Perfect. Stick around and I will show you how. You'll need your oversized tee, a tee that fits you perfectly, fabric markers, fabric scissors, sewing pins, and a serger or sewing machine. Your choice. First, you'll need to turn your shirt inside out. Make sure your edges are lined up perfectly and your shirt is laid out nice and evenly. If it's crooked, your shirt will sew crooked and that's not good. Take your time, you don't wanna ruin your shirt. Now, we're gonna fold the tee in half. Once again, make sure the edges line up perfectly and it's laying nice and smoothly. My shoulders here don't match, that's just how it was made, but no big deal, we're gonna chop it up anyway. Speaking of chopping them up, now we'll carefully cut the shoulders off right at the seam. All right, now we'll lay that aside and fold our other shirt in half as well. Go ahead and lay that shirt on top of the other. Make sure that they meet up perfectly at the top and also at the sides. Once again, it's important to make sure that everything is even. Now we'll need our fabric marker. For very dark shirts, I suggest using white. For everything else, I'd use the purple or the pink. As you can see, the shirt's a bit longer. If you want to shorten it, leave about an inch, fold it over, and at the very end, hem it. I just like leaving mine alone. So now we'll get our marker of choice, use our fitted tee as a stencil, and trace the edges of it onto our big shirt. If you get marks on your good shirt, don't worry, the marks come off with water, some come off with just air after a few hours, so no big deal. Like I mentioned, the shirt is longer, so we'll just continue down the line that we've created. And this is about how it should look. We're gonna fold the top of the sleeve back so we can focus on this one. We're gonna wanna mark the shape of the sleeve on the bottom tee. So I fold it back, feel where the seam is at, and make a mark at the center. Then I like going to one of the edges and marking, then going to the opposite edge and mark there too. Make sure you take your time and get a good feel for where the edges are. We don't want tight shoulders. Then go ahead and make several other marks. Now we're gonna play connect the dots and connect all of the marks we just made in a nice little curve. And this is what mine's looking like now. We'll carefully cut away the excess shoulder parts cutting on the line we just made. We need to mark the sleeve so we'll lay the fitted sleeve on top of the bigger one, so line them up. Now I'm turning this around so you can see better. Keep the sleeve where it's at and fold the rest of the shirt back. We're doing pretty much the same thing we just did. Feeling for the seam and marking marks along the edges. Once again, connect the lines. Remember how I said the sleeves were different sizes? Like I said, it doesn't matter. We'll get the sleeve that you traced and lay it on top of the other sleeve lining them up. And we'll be cutting through both sleeves along the trace line. Now we're gonna snip just the seam off the edge of the sleeves to open them up. If yours were also different lengths, this is the time to cut them and make them even. Now we're cutting the rest of the shirt along the trace line. Remember, the shirt is folded in half, so we're taking care of both sides at once. All right, hold on to the edges so they don't come loose everywhere. Unfold your shirt and lay it down flat. It's time to get out our sewing pins and pin all the way up the side of the shirt, stopping once we reach the sleeve. Now we need to attach the sleeves. To do this, we need to make sure that the right sides are facing each other and pin them. Not the inside out sides, the right sides. Does that make sense? So I like to start at the bottom of the sleeves, pin them, move on to the top, pin it, and then fill in the gaps. This is what it should look like. The sleeves have kind of a pinched look since the right sides are facing each other. Now using your sewing machine or serger, go ahead and sew the body of the shirt up, remembering to remove the pins as you come across them. Stop before you get to the sleeves. To sew the sleeves, pinch the edges together and place them under the foot of your machine. Make sure that the rest of your sleeve or shirt are folded back and far away from the foot. You do not want to accidentally sew your shoulder shut. I like starting at one edge by the armpit and carefully making the way up all around until it reaches the other pit side. Take your time and lift the foot and adjust the shoulder as needed as you sew around it. Keep checking that no other parts of the shirt are getting sewn into the shoulder. Lastly, we have the open edge of the sleeve. Pinch it together, place it under the foot of the machine, and sew it in a continuous line until you reach a bit past the body of the shirt. Now it's all nice and connected, and this is what it should look like. Congratulations, you are done. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, please share, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until next time, guys, goodbye. All right, so you open it up and you have like the Deadpool looking comic stuff going on up here. And if every box also comes with a patch and a